Hey guys, welcome back. BDC Care here. We're back with uh, another unboxing. This month we decided to buy Loot Crate just so we can do a big comparison video. Uh, maybe settle the question once and for all out of a lot of the major blocks. Which one's the best deal? What's yeah. the pros and cons of each one? And not only did that, but really it was just an excuse to splurge a little bit. We're indulging ourselves because chances are it's not going to make us a lot of money back. Yeah, so uh, we have an affiliate li link in the description, and whether we get Loot Crate again or not will depend heavily on how many people sign up via that. So if you want us to uh, do another Loot Crate unboxing, and you also want to get the, the next month yourself, then feel free to sign up. Uh, so anyways, for those of you who don't know, Loot Crate is a monthly subscription service. It's uh, about 20 bucks a month, uh, including shipping US to ship it to America, and 30 also USD uh, to ship it to Canada, right? But the the, the we're probably gonna do the you know those cost estimates that we've done before and the annotations in our comparison video to save a little bit of time. Yeah. And so this is gonna be just more fun. So we'll just open it up, and you can save three bucks with either Shark or Loot R10. Yeah, we'll write that down in the description too, or yeah, or it'll be on the screen. It'll be somewhere, somewhere right. at some point. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, so this is the dystopia. Oh, this is a nice. So thing there's going to be a okay. lot of really cool stuff. All right, because we've had Loot Crate before. I was not nearly as impressed as like this is cool. That's really good. Yeah, he's got the crack pavement and everything. It's it's a it's an experience to open any of these blocks. First thing is the Matrix. What is that? It's a puzzle. It's a thir three hundred piece puzzle. Oh, so that's you see not that? Does that show? So that's what it'll look like once that's, you put it together. That's work. <laughs> and it's meant for seventeen plus. So it's not like oh, it's no. actually. Yeah, maybe it's so it's just... not an easy puzzle either. All right, so now I'm not gonna crack. This is not one of those those kitty puzzles. This ain't your grandma's puzzle, and that's uh, a door. Oh, this is a Bethesda. This is actually like real Fallout Bethesda. vinyl collectible. So uh, that the doors there's they're like uh, pop Funkos and stuff, but they're supposed to be more spherical and. I don't know. There's supposed to, there's some, something like the dorbs. They're an orb kind of thing. That's power armor. That's actually really cool. Yeah. It won't fit in my pyramid of pops though. All right. So let's see. Because the big item is always a shirt. Ooh, cool. Here, Robocop. Lay it down. Oh, that's a that's a well designed shirt. I always like uh, Nerd Block for their for their cool design shirts, and I like uh, Loot Crate a lot too. All right. That's actually yeah. beautiful. That's a really nice shirt. For sure. It's not even a mashup or anything, it's just straight Robocop, which I like. Yeah. The mashups are good if you like both things, and less so if you don't. Okay, this is better. That's a pin. Uh, before, they used to always have buttons. And, alright, buttons are cool. Pins are cooler. Pins are, pins are just more... There's something about higher quality, more More useful. substantial. Yeah. And I guess, not that, you know, I well, really like, care about yeah. jewelry, but it just, they're usually just... Is that a nuke? It looks like it. It is a nuke on warhead. Bomb. It's like a... Uh, but I don't know if that's specifically Fallout, but that is a Fallout style kind of thing. Terminator? What Ooh, is that? Ooh, it's a metal, like a... Oh, I don't even know what the word I'm looking for is. Because remember when we got for like Portal? Like on the wall? Like a little, yeah, a little like a decorative thing. kind of plaque. But it's, it's, it's metal. That's cool. T2's metal head. All right, that's actually quite... And I, can you see the texture on it and how it's yeah, sort of like a... Yeah, 3D. It's more like a freeze than it is uh, just like a plaque because there's all that texture to it. Ooh, yeah. I actually like that. All right, cool. Oh, keychain. It's a key oh, it's a key blank. It's a key blank. It's better than keychain. Okay, oh, so, all right, so okay, wait, wait, wait. Um, I talked about this in our One Up Lock unboxing. There was the bird and the uh, cage pendant. Uh, oh, one side is a cage, the other side is the bird. I saw the bird for sure. But there, so that's the bird in the cage pendant from Bioshock Infinite turned into a key. Yeah, that is really okay. cool. So if this works, because I know that there's different different designs. This is perfect actually from our last unboxing where we talked about lock picking. Yeah, because this is a key blank. So then you can get it cut at the store to whatever levels the pins are to match the keys that you've got. And so you that's actually really use it. cool. All right, so that's... Uh, it's not the same kind of glossy that it actually was in the game, but the pattern is exactly the same. That's really cool. Okay. And it looks like it looks like a really nice key. It doesn't actually look like something silly. Sometimes video game merch is really cool, but it's cool if you know it. This just looks cool. All right. This is just so cool as a key. I have never... I can't say that anymore. I, when, I was, when I'm at the hardware store and I get keys made sometimes yeah there are blanks that they sell that are like disney or whatever uh sports teams i've never seen one of these in the blocks this is a brilliant idea i love this that's really good 
Okay. Okay, I'm really happy with Loot Crate, actually. This is really good, Dave. All right, so they've got a little magazine. To talk As about. they always do, with a little bit of their info on each thing. And that's cool. It doesn't really add any technical value, but it's a nice touch, right? Yeah. Right, um, so, so there's a pin. There's the dorbs. Yeah. There's the t-shirt. We always like keeping the cards and stuff that we always get in them uh, to remind us of exactly what's in it right. and remind us of the block. And this is just another... This is one of those. It's very. It's cool. Yeah, so it is meant to be a... Uh... Yeah, it's a Fallout pin. That's what I thought. It was definitely in the style of Fallout. Okay, so that is... Okay, to me what actually... I know it's, the other things are more valuable. I really like this. Yeah. Okay. It's just the the filler items. It's like with the other stuff, you you almost always get one big item like the the dorbs here. You always get a T-shirt, right? Oh. That's kind of oh, it's, it's like the it's around. the Fallout Four. That's the opening title page thing. It's Power Armor in the Garage. Uh, that's a slightly zoomed in version, but nice. There you go. So you always get the T-shirt. You always get the dorbs. It's the, the filler items and the quality of the filler items that always make the most difference. So, one up block, the two main items are the main thing. And there's, there's usually one other thing where you're like, wow, this has like definite value that like I, I, I might buy if I wanted it, right? Yeah. Uh, and nerd block, a little bit more of it is full of that too. And loot crate is the same kind of level of nerd block where almost every item in it feels like it's the kind of thing that you might buy. And I would actually keep this on my keychain if it would fit. Yeah, right. I think, but you haven't played Bioshock, so I think that one's mine. <laughs> Alright, so... Okay, now... Shaky Cam. Shaky Cam, and, in danger, and our recommendation. Yeah, in danger of repeating ourselves a little bit, because I think we've recommended uh, one of these shows before. I absolutely, 100% love Freaks and Geeks. This is the wrong order. Alright, Freaks and Geeks. Uh, great show. Uh, ended way before its time. A nice blend of drama and comedy about growing up and it focuses less on the usual soap opery kind of perfect people at school with their you know trivial kind of drama popular stuff and the reason why it was worth revisiting because if you've followed us for any length of time we probably I think we've recommended this before on our previous um, unboxing channel with one of our unboxings but what they've done is they've come out with a blu-ray edition but not only that they went to the trouble of remastering it in um, widescreen format. Yeah. Originally, it was when it was broadcast. It was broadcast in full screen to fit, you know, regular four by three TVs. But they actually originally filmed it in widescreen. And so when they went to remaster, and they were looking at it to just do the framing again in four by three, but from the original um, film to make it look better, they realized, oh, it actually does look pretty good in widescreen. And so when they brought it on Blu-ray, they did it as both. So there's the original 4 by 3 aspect ratio and widescreen. And I guess, you know, if you haven't seen it, you wouldn't care. I guess I, I, I love the show so much that this is actually considered triple dipping, right? So we've got the DVD, we've got the yearbook edition, now we've got it in Blu-ray. They've got a little commemorative um, booklet that contains a lot of the stuff that was in the original DVD collection. Um, and so that's the thing that we've recommended before. What we're also going to recommend today is its sort of spiritual successor. So it's it really a different show. You know, this is high school, this is college, but and and it's we're talking comparing a one hour sort of drama comedy to really a half hour comedy. But the still Judd Apatow. You've got a lot of the same actors showing up again. You've got um, Jason Segel. You've got Seth Rogen. Uh, and some others, you know, uh, I think Sam Levine, that was Neil Schreiber in Freaks and Geeks makes an appearance in Undeclared. Hilarious. Yeah, really good. So, focusing more on the comedy, so if you want a good laugh, right there. If you want a nice blend between comedy and drama with a lot of sort of those painful moments, you think, oh my god, did that really happen? But, you know, you, you have a sense that you, you sort of share an affinity with the characters, because that's the kind of stuff that happens in real life. Excellent shows both. So there we go. Uh, thanks so much for watching. Again, uh, Loot Crate, there will be uh, an affiliate link in the description. Uh, so thanks for watching. We'll see you guys next time. Komoda.